Hello everyone, Stucky here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. We are back in the original world of Hearts of Iron 4, and I have a lot of videos that I have to crank out before I'm going to be traveling to Ireland here this next week. Which, on that note, I really should do a video as Ireland. That, that just seems to make more sense. But we are not going to be doing Ireland today. No, there are still nations out of this list that we have not yet done. We've done speed bumps. We've done pumps of speed. Yeah, that's that's a reference to Pervitid, in case you didn't know the, uh, what was essentially methamphetamines that the Germans and others used uh, in order to keep themselves alert back during the war. It's a wild story, that one. But how how about bumps with no speed because everyone is asleep? That's right, baby. Don't forget to take a siesta because we're going into Spain. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now, guys. Spain in Hearts of Iron 4 is something that is a bit of a meme. You already saw my previous video when I was playing as Mexico and what I was capable of doing for milking Spain for all of the army experience that you could possibly want. Because before, the only powers that really had the ability to get a bunch of experience off of the Spanish Civil War was like the Germans, and the Italians, and also the Soviets when sending like volunteers and stuff. But Spain is one of the few nations in the entire game that you have a massive focus tree that allows you to do well pretty much anything from the very beginning and you are constantly going to be doing something because the civil war is supposed to begin in the first year and then good luck to you after that of course there are multiple different paths that you can take spain at this time is very divided in its history it's got a lot of political violence national strikes no one wants to work the military is disloyal and everyone wants to break the country apart in comparison to places like catalonia which want to break apart the country today Hey, politics joke. A great Spain? Pfft, no, we don't want to be great again. We are going to destroy everything. We go with what's popular, not great. We are going to pursue the anarchist path today. And with the anarchist, that means that we are going to need to go over here and build up Catalonia as much as possible, because this is the region that we're going to end up controlling once we flip to anarchist. The entirety of Spain is going to be divided, so that's what we want to primarily focus on. We're going to go over here research-wise, and since we're going to be doing a lot of combat, right from the beginning, support weapons, basic machine tools, and construction. Why not? Let's just go for that. Also, all of our free military factories, slap those onto guns, because we're primarily going to need guns. That's the big thing that we're going to be behind on. Take all this army, put them in one big block, and slap them along the front line here. Which, I mean, fallback line. Now let's begin. Now, the Spanish Civil War mechanic is pretty cool. I, I actually find the entire thing very fascinating, but if you're first diving into this to actually play it is a nightmare to try and process as every good civil war is to be honest but it's okay we're gonna meme the hell out of this because here it is the spanish election of 1936 and it is not good at all this is going to unlock an entire system where states that don't have total nationalist garrison control upon the start of the civil war will begin the conflict under republican ownership we need to have at least one degree of control in everything you hit decisions you can see all this and it's a bit of a mess that we have to kind of sort through right now we have full control over everything it's all republican but they are starting to challenge some of our authority we are going to be really hurting on political power and you're pretty much going to have two decisions that you can kind of make the nationalists are going to continuously try to instigate things across the country and drive down the time that it's going to take to cause a civil war meanwhile we as the republicans want to try and delay things as long as possible in order to secure the government so you can see this military plot is counting down. We're going to provide concessions to the left, and we're going to do this in order to decrease the amount of time that it's going to take or increase the amount of time that it's going to take for a military plot to take a hold. And as soon as this is done, we have 20 more political power. Boom, there we go. We're going to start challenging this. When everything appears, we're going to challenge because some things are going to end up getting flipped. And really, at this point, you can make a kind of choice. Do you want to spend more of your political power going and converting different provinces back to your side? Or do you want to spend the opportunity instead in order to secure leaders, delay things as long as possible? And if you go further down this focus tree, eventually, if you can get to disband the army, you will control the majority of forces of everything. And even if the nationalists own more land, you will have significantly more forces to be able to actually fight them. Well, we're not going to be going for a full Republican Spain, so we don't necessarily have to get this far, but we do probably want to get down here to at least enlarge the weapon caches. So let's secure some leaders and we will start to fight back against some of this stuff down here. Ah uh, yes, a dismissal of our political leader, the power struggle between the various parties of the left so recently united in victory has already come to an end. Yes, as most things in politics typically do. This is actually historically one of the key reasons as to why the left-wing side, the Republican side, had such difficulties during the Spanish Civil War, is that both sides in the war were composed of many different sub-factions, but there was way more sub-factions within the left-wing side of things that were just constantly fighting each other. The Nationalists had way more political cohesion, and it's one of the key reasons why they were so dominant, that and other support from outside powers. Okay, there we go, there we go, secure even more, secure even more, just trying to go and balance this. The war is about to break out. 
Yes, we managed to get secure the weapon caches. Now, we are not going to be able to get distribute arms to the people. There really is no point in doing this. It's 70 days until we get there, and we are not going to be able to delay things in time. We're just, we're not going to be able to. So we might as well just bide our time trying to get as much political power as possible to be able to use to get certain things, like securing as much garrison support as we possibly can. Here we go. War breaks out. Now you have to decide what we're going to be doing. Democratic, uh, like the working man, where it's just like communism, but it's like the basic communism, I guess, or communal revolutionary struggle. Maybe you know exactly what we're doing. Let's struggle. All right, focus tree wise, we've completed the Regional Defense Council of Aragon. So that is the focus that we are going down. Appropriate the means of production or arm the people. Naturally speaking, we're gonna arm the people, get ourselves some better defenses right here from the beginning. Get ourselves a field marshal, get all this defense going. And because we completed that one focus tree, that means we actually have the majority of the weapons. So we can go ahead and create a couple more units. Some basic infantry divisions are pretty Pretty much all that we'll be able to do so we'll just go ahead and get like five of those out here from the very beginning all right accept volunteers from the soviet union they're gonna send me seven divisions of course i will accept some help let's go ahead and line things up here oh wait wait can we can we go ahead and cut off a division from the very beginning let's see if we can just maneuver in slightly because they're more concentrated in the north there we go okay right from the very beginning yes all right all right all right smart little moves they've tried to gain themselves around the north it's perfectly okay and let's see if we can go ahead and move these guys to the, uh, the field of death from the very beginning. Okay, there it goes. Civil War front line solidified. That is going to take forever to actually go through. So the front lines have solidified. What this means is that we're not going to be able to do anything on any of these attacks. You can see that we have like a minus 90% reduction to everything. It just takes forever. So here's what it is that we have to do, right? We have to plan our offenses and secure different points. So that's what we're going to do. We'll focus on down here in the south in this state first because we want to remove all of these effects so that we'll be able to cut off more of their divisions and destroy them. That That's the goal. That's what we want to do. Meanwhile, these guys up here are going to try and hold out for as long as possible. God, forcing an attack. They're going to take so many more casualties. Actually, they're not even really taking many casualties. It's just that slow right now. All right, send these forces in. We don't want to lose a bridge. See if we can try to still hold the line. We want to be able to move in here as quick as we can. All right, go ahead and spawn out our extra units. Go ahead and get some of these out. And we'll see if we can train these up. Okay, come on. Just keep on going. Keep on going. Are these guys doing not so well? I'm probably going to need to try and save them as soon as I can. All right, there's Arm the People. Perfect. That should give me some more stuff, some more attack and defense. That's what we want. Now, appropriate the means of production. Here we go. And come on, come on, come on. Just a little bit more. There's 100 political power. All right, next up on here, military staff. What are we going to get? Army morale. Damn, that's not what we're going to want. Maybe uh, military commander? Entrenchment? No, do we not have anything that is infantry? Damn it. We have artillery. That's not going to do much for us right now. Oh, I'm probably going to have to withdraw all these forces they they're they're i don't want to lose these three versus the bonuses that i'm getting right now look we'll do convoy escort just to get those out and we'll retreat there we go give it to them even if i take some losses it's okay it's okay we just need to get out of here radio get that reinforcement rate up here we go if we can just try and close this off and get secure this gap we'll be okay perfect okay okay we managed to save some of our troops that's that's fine that's fine all right so now we'll take these six and we will try and use these as our little maneuver forces to be able to attack elsewhere you will be our specialty guy come on 98 come on this takes forever to do anything <laughs> oh the spanish civil war is fun but it's simultaneously so incredibly frustrating portuguese sailors come to our aid hey thank you 99 come on come on just finish this off finish this off there he goes okay now we can redistribute our forces along the entire line and this is going to allow us to hold out a little bit more the longer that we can hold things the better it's going to be a crackdown in 150 days and that is not what we want that that crackdown is going to lead to the breakout of our second part of our civil war so we have to be smart about this 99 come on come on come on just finish this one off there it goes okay okay that's another one down 8,000 versus 28,000 they may outnumber us yes yes i know i know but it'll be okay. We're now going to be able to attack on the side, which means we can start prioritizing things in Western Aragon. This is a territory that we really want to reclaim. All right, keep on throwing your lives away. It is fine. The more equipment that they burn out on me, the better. It's it's going to be a little bit rough, but as long as we be smart about this, we'll be okay. 96, 97, come on. Are we holding? Yeah, it looks like we are kind of holding. Send one of these forces over. Go ahead and mix this up. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. We have kind of cut a group across. Three over here, three over here. Yes, okay, that is an entire group. That's an entire segment that we just cut off, yes! 
Oh, absolutely wonderful. That is huge for us. That is actually huge for us. Oh, this is, it's the ultimate game of micro in here. That's going to be, oh, that's the Italian units. That's an Italian volunteer unit. Oh, that's a really valuable unit for them to lose right from the beginning. Oh, that's nice. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Trap all of these divisions. Let's go ahead and seize public transport. We're going to seize the taxis. We're going to seize the buses. We're going to seize everything. And we're going to send them to the front row line, baby. Oh, that was huge. How many losses was that? 25,000 versus 73,000. Oh, as long as we're being smart about this, they will lose some valuable units. And of course, we have no stability during this entire thing because why would we? How many days? 117. That means I have enough for three. So wait, that's one, two, three. No. Oh, oh, shoot. I can't do this. I can't do this one. Okay. We're going to want to launch masters of our own fate. That's the one that we're going to want to do. So seize the gold reserve because we want to get the, uh, the jump on this and try and take out as many of their troops as we possibly can during this entire time. There we go. Come on. Attack from two different sides. We can secure this. Just keep on going. Oh, there we go. There's another group trap. <laughs> Very good, very good, very good. Oh, there's another fat stack caught right there, right there. <laughs> oh, and that's a valuable German unit too. I didn't even realize that. Oh, the Germans and the Italians all losing their volunteers. Oh, that's going to hurt them so much. 145,000 casualties on their side. God dang. All right, there sees the gold reserve. Now foreign arms purchases. We're going to want to be able to buy weapons. We're going to save all this political power because I'm sure that's what we're going to end up using and try and pump out as many units as we can get. Oh, there's two more divisions caught right here. <laughs> oh, we're going to sweep up through the south. That's wonderful. Oh, 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 oh. We actually managed to break through on the side. All right, come on, come on, come on. If we can seize the city of Zaragoza, that's going to be huge. That's going to secure supply point for us. We really, really, really need to get that. All right, we got 40 days. Is that going to be enough time? I don't think that it is. I think that we've done as much as we possibly can here. There we go. There we go. There we go. There's Zaragoza. There's Zaragoza. Come on. Come on. Take it. Take Japan to clear war in China. I don't care. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is this is high stakes. We just need to get this done in the next 37 days and then we can do the focus. And that wipes out the valuable German SS unit. We're destroying the SS. Yeah. Anti-fascist league. Here we go. God, if I had more time, I would run up here to Papalona and take out even more units, but there's not really much else that they'll be able to do here. But the goal of this was to wipe out as many nationalists as possible. And I think that we did that. Reducing them to the number that we did is pretty impressive, actually. So in fact, let's just, let's just keep on going. Let's keep on going and see what it is that we can do. Let's see. 11 days. Yeah, that's not going to do anything here. A close three days. No, no, we're so close to wrapping out another group. But okay, here we go. Another Civil War time. Oh my God, we took way, way more of our stuff. Wow. <laughs> God, I got so many more forces than I anticipated. Okay, okay, okay. I can work with this. I can actually work with this. Uh, attack, yes, we want that. High command, what do we have? Concealment. Infantry genius. Oh my God, yes. Whoa, whoa, what, what, are, you, what are you doing? What, what the fuck are you doing? When did I click up here? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. That, that's not what I selected at all. That's not what I selected at all. You dumbass, you ruined my line. Oh my God, no, wait, hold on. We actually surrounded a whole bunch of units we did we did okay 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 this could work this could work i do my genius plan that i definitely actually meant to do here totally wait can i just walk into madrid can i just can i just walk did i just seized madrid <laughs> wait a minute spain is about to capitulate if i could seize all their equipment over here hold on hold on hold on hold on so we go and get there can i can i do this one too 90 percent towards capitulation what, what cities do they still own what do they still have they don't have any cities do they oh uh, say that real okay come on let's go for it we're on a freaking adventure here is what we're doing we actually managed to take and surround the entire spanish front line they're not even going after madrid anymore what the hell i don't even have a plan to attack this place oh no 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 now the nationalists are actually starting to move in okay quick get more population we need them mujeres liberes the social revolution has only partly succeeded. The next step is liberation, empowerment, and education of working class women. Yes, get educated on the fucking battlefield. All right, there's Ciudad Real. Is that, is that it? Is that Spain? Yes. Come on, give me all the equipment, please. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. That gave us actually a ton of resources. We are no longer on a two front war, baby. Wait, what do you mean not enough manpower to support garrison garrisons? I'm not trying to garrison it. Hold on, hold on. Do I have, oh God, oh God. They gave me all the puppets and everything else that I occupy. I don't want any of this stuff. No garrison. I don't care about that at all. G give me back my guns so I can use them to recruit more units to kill more things. Let's -a go. 
I don't think that they can react anymore. They're not even trying to attack me. They, they don't have the forces necessary for this. Oh, there's more trapped. Even more. What? <laughs> even more? Just keep on going. Just keep on going. Yes, breakthrough. This is so satisfying after years of fighting. La guerra ha terminado which deletes all of those extra units that we had and simultaneously gives us recovering from the Civil War, which sucks for 2,190 days. Oh no. Western Aragon, Extremura Galicia, seven other state, no longer a core initialized resistance activity. We just finished this. Well, this kind of sucks. Not only uh, am I recovering from a civil war, but my anarchist society, which while it does give me some decent factory output, simultaneously hurts my stability every single week. This sucks. I I'm going to have such low factory output because of this shit. Fix our literacy and then all must bear the torch. Collectivized society. Oh, factory output plus 70%. Oh my God, this is actually very strong. Every person is a revolution unto itself. Yeah, but it simultaneously hurts my research and production because it's a collectivized society that can't do shit with any organization. Wait, 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 wait. Portuguese anarchism, regional defense. Oh, I can go after Iberia. <laughs> I can take Portugal. Should we do it? We should do it. Threats all abound. Division on core territory plus 10%. Give us those bonuses. We're probably going to need that here when we basically declare war on the entire world, I think. Now, do we go after Portugal immediately or do we try and get this thing for our army? You know what? No, no, no. We should probably go after Portugal immediately. Secure, secure our flank. Portuguese anarchism. That one's done. Is that going to give us anything? Do we get an event? Oh, there it goes. Okay. We get Portugal as a puppet. As a puppet. Okay. Okay. They join us. Let's go, baby. Let's see if we can actually do this fairly quick. If we can get in here and get this done before the 10 days are up, I believe that we should be set. No, nope, we're not going to reach it in time. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Maintain the fire. Go ahead and get that done. Give us some war support. It's, it's whatever. You will be free through anarchy, whether you like it or not. And most people do not. There it is. Portuguese anarchism. Civil war ends. Oh, simply lovely. Simply lovely. Do we get the other stuff? Regional Defense Council of Aragon. <laughs> they take everything else and absorb them. <laughs> Wonderful. Ah, the world as it was always meant to be. Simply astounding. There goes Czechoslovakia, which means that things are heating up over here in Europe. I'm sure that the Germans lost a lot of valuable units dealing with me, though. It's not going to affect them against France, mind you, but hey. Yeah, anarchy. What are you going to do? All right, there's maintaining the fire. That is done. Freedom of thought. That's not going to do anything. Oh, whoa. Oh, no, no, no. This gives me course. Okay, we are doing that one. And then afterwards, rather than get rid of disbanded army and all that, we need to fix our country first. So collective recovery efforts and then all must do their part. There we go. Regional Defense Council of Iberia. No longer of Aragon. We are united as Iberia, my friends. Oh, wait, no. This is not the one that we do. We have to do... Oh, we have to do these. This is what actually fixes things. Okay. Collective recovery efforts then. Let's go ahead and get this done. So that's a 70-day focus. That's a 70-day... Oh my, there's a lot of 70-day focuses. I won't be able to do anything until like the like mid-1940s. Also, I love how my flag is just Iberia. That's it. Someone did a fucking Iberian roar shark test and just threw it up onto a black screen. <laughs> oh, good luck to you, Poland. Yeah, that, that might not work out so well for you. Freedom of thought. Closed-mindedness has no place in our communities. All are welcome, no matter the ideas, as long as they accept the basic underpinnings of our society, of which there are no rules. I guess. Oh, look, fun is coming to our borders. How lovely. Also, holy shit, this manpower pool. I forgot under anarchism, we get so many people. Everyone is going to be in the army dying for me. So let's see next up, the inevitable counter blow. International hostility towards our communal way of life is increasing. It's only a matter of time before the blow falls and we must be ready to receive it. You don't say that the world is getting more hostile, though. To be fair, I think there's another part of the world that is feeling significantly more hostile to everyone. Anarchism successful. Despite some time having elapsed since the conclusion the Spanish Civil War, the expected implosion of the anarchist communes did not come to pass, you don't say. To the contrary, the communities have reported succeeded in stabilizing and rebuilding the region and continue to attract like-minded immigrants from nations all across the world. That is right. That is right. So let's see, this is all about fortification. We don't really need any of that right now. But militarize the industry to give us some mill factories and the communal autarky, which removes recovering from the Civil War. Oh, damn right. You know that I'm going down that path. And then at the same time, I have the option to remove all the different guerrilla fighters from here. 
Oh, this is gonna be fun. Communal all turkey done. All right, we got that removed. That removes most of the negative effects. So now that we we can actually start producing more shit. Communal military strategies, because why have one person in charge when we can just give it to a whole group of people? The more the merrier, I guess. I love how as the anarchists, we just unlock like 15 different things that we can get resources from. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Time to militarize the people then. We just literally have sat here for two years, not doing anything. Meanwhile, Italy is just slowly still trying to make its way through Greece, which is just lovely. And now anarchism knows no bounds, which grants plus 10% war support, but more importantly, minus 75% justify war goal time. Beautiful. I just got to sit here and wait for the world to burn. Meanwhile, bide my time, build my strength. Yep, because there goes the Germans after the Soviets, as is expected. And now finally plant the seeds of revolution, which gives us options to do something. I don't know. We'll have to see. We can create anarchist uprisings in neighboring countries and a global defense council. All right, we'll get both of these. We'll get both of these before we start really planning things. Yep, and there goes Japan, which that's going to get them involved. The United States joins the allies. It, 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 it's what happens. Don't worry. The revolution comes everywhere, whether you want it or not. Also, wait, is this, is this seriously only how far the Germans have managed to push? They're really not pushing very far here. What the hell? Did I actually weaken them that much through the Spanish Civil War by destroying them so they couldn't get army experience? The Global Defense Council now. Whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. That's giving me options. Can I... I can instigate things? What can I instigate? North Angola commune integrate. Wait, I can integrate these things? What do you mean integrate? I can't integrate any of these things. Oh, I can get cores on everything. I completely forgot that the anarchists can get literally cores on the entire world. Holy shit. Well, I completely forgot about that. So I guess we might as well just start preparing for the big fun then. All right, and that's it. There, there really is nothing else for me to do now at this point, except I guess focus on uh, air production so I can produce more fighters because baby, we're gonna need to do something here. Here. Oh my god, Germany, you barely managed to push in anything in over a year. You you might actually fall pretty easily at this rate. Wow, Germany, I, I'm genuinely saddened by this that you were not able to do anything. <laughs> Like, really, this is just pathetic. Oh, oh, now they're moving a bunch of forces over here. Now they're moving up a bunch of forces in preparation. Well, you know what? Okay, I think it's time. I think it's time. 30 days. Let's just do it. Why not? Let's have some fun. There it is. All the forces are amassed. Are the Soviets? The Soviets are pushing the Germans now. Oh, they're even reaching this. This is pathetic. This is absolutely pathetic. All right, time to put you out of your misery then. Let's go. Can we break through? Let's see. Oh, we did. We did. We're just going to blitz on through, I think. Look at these overwhelming numbers. All right. Now, while I could force through, I don't necessarily want to throw away all of my population by population. I don't really care about the population. I mean, my equipment. This is going to burn through pretty damn fast. Oh, man. And our fighters are just tearing them apart. Let's go, boys. Come on. They're just throwing themselves at me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, we don't want to burn through all of our equipment, though. That could be dangerous. Come on. How many have we lost so far? 75,000. A mere drop in the bucket in comparison to what we're going to be doing. On trap men. Go, go, go. Hey, <laughs> Here we go. Look at all these divisions trapped. How are, how did Kiev fall? How did Kiev fall when I'm the one that's doing all this damage? Unless, wait, that's the Soviets taking you back? No. No, 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 no. That's, that's still the Germans. And we are wrecking the German air. Oh, boy. And now we have air superiority. We have just knocked out the entire German air force. Yeah, there, there's no bonuses they're going to get now. God, I can't even do anything. I just have to sit here and wait for them to attack. And potentially for a D-Day to occur because I can't really do much else. All right, there we go. Come on, come on. Break on through. We just need to seize these ports, seize the supplies, and then we should be fine. There we go. There we go. We seized it. We seized it. That's going to hurt a lot of their supply. There we go. There we go. Come on, just break on through. Break on through. Yeah. Yes, there we go. There's a whole group of them trapped. Come on. Yes, perfect. Oh, we're going to make so much more damage over here now. Fall of Rome. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't send all your forces away here. I'm trying to wipe as many of you out as I can before they invade. Come on, break on through. Damn it. Oh, this is so frustrating. There we go. There's more. Come on, come on, come on. Move in, move in, move in. No landings yet. Nope. There we go. Come on, come on, yes. Oh, there's the most of the army trapped. Wonderful. I have no idea how many that was right there. Oh, man, we have done 1.7 million casualties versus what? 216,000? 
2,000 deaths, that is nothing. Especially since we're now overwhelming them number-wise. You know what? I think we got enough equipment. Let's just fucking go for it. Let's go. Come on, you bastards. You keep going. We may be racking up the casualties, but they will take more. Oh my god, they're still fighting over- How are you outside the gates of Moscow? How am I taking everything? All right, let's go again. Come on. God, how many men have I lost at this point? Half a million? Nothing, nothing in comparison to what we're doing here. Beautiful, simply beautiful. You thought that you could do this? No, you couldn't. And there goes the German Reich falling. Oh my God, that took forever, but we finally did it. There you have it. What a beautiful, beautiful world after this. Oh my God. <laughs> France getting absolutely massacred in the peace deal. Oh, man. You know, this is the kind of game that if I had the patience for at this point, you, you could really go for a world conquest. You could. You could. I think that it would even be better, though, if it was ahistorical so that it didn't have some massive super block between the Allies and the Soviets afterwards. But uh, yeah, now at this point, all you'd have to do is wait for the Soviets to declare war eventually on the Allies and then take advantage of that. In the meantime, you can go through and core every single thing that you get up to 40 compliance in as long as you have 150 political power really spain is fun you get to do stuff from the very beginning of the game and it's just it's so enjoyable to actually play it's so stupid sometimes too anyway i'll say this right now if you want to see a iron man attempt with a historical which you know is just going to be nasty to see if we can do a world conquest if that will be possible as the global defense council then please let me know in the comment section below and also let's say this video gets 6,000 likes. It does that, I will go for it. Even if it ends up taking me like 24 hours to record at that point. I wish you all a good rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye, guys.